Hey everybody, it's Mystical Brandon here, or as I'm known on the server, IX Brandon. I'm going to be showing you the best way to grow cannabis or weed, and we're going to be showing you some tips and tricks along the way, so hopefully you don't make the same mistakes I've made, and you get like the best amount of produce for the amount of money you've spent. So next, we're going to talk about the basics. So we've got three basic items. Fuel tank, a fuel generator, and a water tank. What we're going to want to do is spawn these items in by bringing up our tablet. Just right click and click on them. Then once you've spawned those in, we can either grav gun or we can fids gun, depending on if you've uh, locked the item in place or not. We just drop it on top and as you'll see, the fuel will just count up. There's also another way we can add fuel. So if we just stand next to it, right click on it, and purchase our fuel, it should just drop straight back in. So fuel and water are our two most important resources. If either one of these run out, our entire system goes down, and then our plants die, and then all your money's been wasted, and then you hate yourself. So we're gonna keep an eye on these at all times. We're gonna keep this generator topped up with fuel, and we're gonna make sure this thing never runs out of water. So there's two ways we can use a water tank. If we've got hydro pots, we can just connect them straight from the water tank up to the pots. But if we're using a manual system where we have to use our watering can, uh, we can just refill on the tank. So I'll just give you a quick demonstration. If I pour my water out, you can see I've got 85 litres left. I just right click on the water tank, it will refill the water in my tank. And then if I just click on that, it will refill the big tank. So now I'm going to show you the less efficient way of harvesting weed. So what all we're going to need is a fan the standard flower pot, a sodium lamp, and a power strip. Now on some servers, the LED lamp and the hydro flower pot are limited to donators only, so it's important that I show you both ways, just in case these two items aren't available. So what we'll do is grab our cable, click on our fuel generator, click it straight on our power strip. Now click on our power strip to our fan, and same again, to our lamp. Now what we'll do is bring our tablet out again, stand close to the flower pot and just spawn some soil and it should spawn straight in. Next we'll grab some fertilizer. Now depending on your server, depending on what version you're running, you get different, ver different types of mix. Now my personal preference is the last one because that gives us anti-plague it also gives us speed bonus and a productivity bonus so we're just going to spawn that in and depending on where you're stood it might just drop straight onto your soil next we'll grab our seeds but we're not going to put these on yet because we haven't got our light on so i'll just spawn in the cheap one for now so you get five seeds usually so it would usually have five plant pots. So now we're going to want to turn our generator on. So just press the green button a couple of times until it starts. Turn our fan on. And we'll also turn our lamp on if it wants to turn on. All right, so now you'll see the temperature gauge and you'll also see the light source. So it's important that we always have light and we always keep our temperature down. So when I put this on, it's happy. Now it's just unhappy at the moment because it's got no water. So if we feed it water, it will go good. So now the problem with this method is it's not autonomous. We've got to sit here and keep this water bar between the bad and the bad and just keep it good in the middle. And what you'll find is the better the weed, the smaller this bar gets. So if I was to use the mega expensive weed, that bar would be on the left side of the G and the right side of the D. So I'd have to stand here and literally watch it constantly to make sure that it didn't fluctuate. 
And we're also going to have to keep refilling our water can periodically. Keep coming back to it. So whilst we're waiting for the weed to grow, there's a couple of other things we need to monitor. Our fuel generator can sometimes break down. And when that happens, it'll, uh, it does like a little animation and it just says fix. And all you'll do is you go over to it and press your use button on it and it'll fix itself. Likewise, you can get flies. Now, because we've got the anti-plague, we shouldn't really see the flies. However, they do still appear despite it saying plus 100%. So when the flies appear, you just click your use button and you'll just see a little animation of it healing itself. But it's important to know you need to get to them like straight away. So if you're leaving your base or whatever and you get flies, it is going to destroy your crop. You need to get to them as fast as you can. So make sure you don't leave your base for too long. Or at least get someone else to have a look at them whilst you're away. So now you can see our weed is successfully harvested. It didn't take too much effort to keep this water in between the two bars as this is the easiest one to grow. So now it's in post grow. What do we do now? Well, this is where I found out that you can actually leave this to grow and grow and grow. It's just down to you when you click the harvest button. So what we'll do is we'll just wait for this to count up. So now that we're waiting for our weed to harvest or continue harvesting in post grow, we need three more items. However, the last one's optional depending on what your balance is like. So we need our drying rack and we need our packing table. So what we're going to do now is harvest our weed by using our use button, grab our gravity gun, just pick the items up and put them on the rack. As you'll see, there's a little timer that counts down for how long it takes for them to dry. So it takes about 30 seconds to a minute for these to dry. And in the meantime, we can just turn off our generator because we're no longer harvesting anything anymore and we don't want to waste the fuel. So now we're waiting for our last bits of weed to dry. I've just had to make another plant because in order to pack your weed, you actually need four sticks. So instead of cutting off uh, 300 grams like I did, you'll want to wait until about 400 or 500 grams. Or if you've got multiple plants, then you can just harvest them all at once. It's only because I'm using one plant for the demonstration rather than a rack of five. So we'll just wait for these to count down. And then we should be ready to pack our weed. So now you can see the timers have run out. And now I can use my use button. And click on all of them. And you'll see these jars appear on the floor. So all we're going to do is pick these jars up and put them straight onto our packing table. And you'll see, now that we've got four jars, our use button comes up, and we're just going to click that, and it'll pack. Now I'm not going to finish this, just so that I can show you what the auto packer does. Now hopefully, it'll work mid-process. I've never actually put it on in the middle of a, a process. So no, it's not actually going to let me put it on. But what an auto packer actually does, is it just does this for you. So you don't even have to click this button, it just packs it for you. And now we have our weed. So our last step, really, now that we've got our weed, is just to go to the dealer and sell it. So that's what we're going to do. So what you'll find is, using your gravity gun is a lot better than using your fizz gun. Because it's quite hard to like hold down the click button whilst you're running. So instead we'll just use the grav gun. And we'll go over to the weed dealer, just use our use button. I got some weed for you. And sell it. And then you'll see... You get your profit and that's that. So now I'm going to show you the other method of harvesting weed. So this time we're going to spawn in an LED lamp and a hydro flower pot. And I'm also going to show you the build I use for most effective production of weed. So what I do is I have my lamp at a 45 degree angle facing upwards 
And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to spawn in multiple hydro pots so that you can see exactly how it works. So now you can see I've got my flower pots set up. I've actually used 10 instead of 5 because I just want to show you how efficient this method is. So what we do now is same as before, we're going to click our generator, but instead of our power strip, which we don't have, we're just going to click straight on the LED lamp. Now the LED lamp doesn't produce any heat, so we don't need a fan, so we don't need that socket. So we've already saved on items there and space and efficiency. So I'm going to turn this on now, because what I want to see is that the lamp is giving light to all of these flower pots. So if we turn on our lamp, we'll see that these five are all lit up, and hopefully these five are lit up as well. Next, what we didn't do on the more efficient, inefficient method is we're going to use our cable again and click on the water tank. So we're going to click our first flower pot, and then we click it again and click the second one. And we'll basically just daisy chain until every single one of these parts has the blue bar sat halfway. That's the indicate that there's water in it. So we're going to do that all the way along. So you're probably thinking by now, why the hell has he got his flower parts upside down? Now I'll tell you why. When you spawn in your seeds and other such items, you can sometimes get the seeds stuck on the soil which means you then have to pick up your flower pot and jiggle it about and get the seeds out, which can sometimes mess your build up. So since then, I've just had them upside down. Now there is actually another reason why I do that, and you'll find out in a second when we replace our drying rack. But first, we're going to need to put our soil in and our fertilizer before we do that. So same as before, all we're going to do is grab our soil and just put it inside one of the pots. And same again, we're going to grab our fertilizer and drag it up. Now I would highly recommend using your grav gun wherever possible. Because what you'll find is, you'll drag something up with your fizz gun. It will drop it in and then you'll fizz gun your item and end up moving it. Which can be really annoying sometimes. So I'm just going to fast forward me putting the soil and seeds in. And we'll get straight into the next step. So the final part of what I think is my most efficient build is move in our drying rack. Now as you can see everything's placed up top. Now what we want to do is, I've got it stuck at the moment, we're going to rotate this 90 degrees so it's on its side and completely flat. And we're going to drag this and try and place this as centrally as possible. Now you're not going to get every single part under this just because of the way some items fall. However, what we can do is minimize the amount that we have to pick up with our grav gun. So generally the ones on the side are the ones we're going to be picking up with our grav gun. Let's move this slightly. Sit this perfectly level. Just try and get as many underneath as you can. Let's just move this down slightly. Make sure they're all still lit. Level this out. And that should be us. And lastly, my packing table. Now, as you can see, I've actually put the auto packer on now. And it's sat beneath our drying rack. So if you remember the process, the weed grows. We leave it to post grow for a while. When we harvest it, the weed stalks should drop straight onto the drying rack. And then once they're dry, we can click our use button and they'll drop straight onto the table. And if they don't drop straight onto the table, what you'll see when the weed is grown is we can actually just drag our table along the ground and it'll pick all the jars up for us. And then the auto packer will pack it for us. So, so far, I've not found a better way of doing this. So I'm gonna put our seeds in and then I'm gonna fast forward up until the harvest point and I'll give you a demonstration of how that system works.
So now you can see most of our plants are fully grown. What you may have noticed during the sped up portion is on a few occasions I had flies, I had to repair this, and I constantly had to top up the water tank. So although we've got our 100% plague bonus, like resistance, we still get flies, so it's not entirely accurate, but who knows, your server may be different. But it's important to just keep an eye on everything, because at the end of the day, you don't want to be losing your harvest, or you don't want to be slowing it down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to harvest one of these plants just for the demonstration. So hopefully it doesn't fail me. So theoretically, if we harvest this middle plant, the wheat will drop and it should drop straight onto the rack. Now I can't see it, so it may have failed me. But as there's so much weed, it could be there and I just can't see it. In fact. It's there. As you can see, the weeds dropped straight onto the rack. So we'll just wait for that to harvest. To harvest, that's the wrong word. We'll just wait for that to dry, and then I can show you the next part. So now, our weeds dry. If we press our use button, hopefully, oh, it didn't because of how far it was sat over. It's dropped straight on the floor. However, if that was a little bit to the left, or the table was a little bit to the right, it would have dropped straight on. However, this isn't the end of the world. We just grab our packing table and move it over and it picks it up straight onto the table. So now we're just gonna have to wait to get an extra four sticks and then we'll show you exactly how the auto packer works. All right, so hopefully this jar will just drop straight on with any luck. Well, it didn't. So we're just gonna drag that on and as ex exactly as the description says, it packs automatically. And right on cue, we've actually got some flies. So we're just going to click E, or our use button, on the weed, and it heals it. So what we can do now is instead of taking these packs like numerous times over to the dealer, we can just put it on a pallet. If we put it on a pallet, actually tells us exactly how much we're going to get. Now this number isn't entirely accurate because what you'll notice is every weed buyer has a profit margin. So I think it just cycles like randomly depending on the server. But um, earlier the weed buyer that I sold like the other weed to had a plus 25% margin. So you could add plus 25% to this and you'll be walking away with like 60, 70,000. So this number isn't entirely accurate, it's just the minimum amount that you'll get. So lastly, if you want to continue to watch the awesome videos I make, hit like and please subscribe. However, I don't make videos very often. As you can see, this is the first video I've made in like five years. But hey, if you like content on that sort of frequency, then you know you know what to do. Hit that big red button. And if you want to come play with me or raid me or whatever, I currently play on ISU's networks on the City RP server. So uh, hope to bump into you. See you later.